The other day, I covered on my show that uh, the governor of Virginia is uh, doing some fucked up shit. Doing some fucked up shit. Continuing the crusade against transgender people, specifically kids, uh, because transgender kids don't have it hard enough, right? Constantly dis discriminated against by peers, bullied, probably would be discriminated against by their own family, nowhere to stay, no safety, no access to health care. Glenn Youngkin is like, oh, fuck, let's add some more on top of that. And, uh, well, apparently some Virginia school districts are planning on not complying. So uh, a trio of Northern Virginia school districts, of course, Northern Virginia is closer to Maryland and D.C. So those are the more, like, left-leaning liberal areas of the state as opposed to uh, Western Virginia, Southern Virginia. Vowed to resist an order from the administration of Governor Glenn Youngkin that would sharply reduce the rights of transgender students, while others suggested they will comply as school leaders across the state absorbed a 180-degree turn in policy on gender identity. Late last week, Youngkin R. directed all 133 of the state schools district to adopt a new model policies after a comment period. These would require transgender students to access uh, school facilities and programs matching the sex they were assigned at birth. I need to ask a question. How, how, and why are grown adult men so concerned with how kids are pissing and shitting? I, to me, again, it is, it is grown adult men and one of their largest concerns is how kids will piss and shit at school. Like, imagine that. Imagine this. Like, this is the world. This is the world we live in. Where the our leaders, our leaders, these are the people that their job is to govern and to lead us as a society. And one of the most important issues on their minds is how kids are pissing and shitting and where they are doing it. Jesus Christ. The state will also mandate that families submit legal documentation if they want to let their children change the name, their name or gender on official school records. Teachers and other school personnel may not refer to a student by a different name or pronoun unless parents request the switch in writing. What about nicknames? What about nicknames? Let's say your name is Ted and one of the teachers wants to call you Teddy. Is that banned? Well, we didn't have the proper paperwork. That's banned, right? What? So nicknames are banned? Like, that's the thing with these people. They hate trans people so much that they're willing to take away everyone's rights to having nicknames just to shit on, like, the fucking seven transgender kids in all of Virginia, however many there are, right? Like just to attack like less than like 20 people they're going to revoke the rights to everyone else right like what what like again, and these are the people that lead us these are our leaders they they govern us right they're in charge what early reaction from school leaders suggest that while much of the state might comply with the order Youngkin is likely to face resistance from more liberal areas. Already there is talk of a lawsuit challenging the order, with opponents arguing that it violates Virginia Human Rights Act, which protects individuals in public settings, including schools, from discrimination on the basis of gender identity. The Washington Post sought comment from every school district in the state, and most had no initial comment. But in Northern Virginia, initial response from several districts was sharply negative. Leaders of Alexandria City public, public schools vowed to maintain their commitment to gender-affirming policies for all students. Quote, we are concerned with these model policies that do not align with our mission, vision, and core values to support all students and staff. In particular, our core value of ensuring that we provide a welcoming environment for everyone in our school community, said a letter to staff and families from the district school board president, blah, 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 blah. Falls Church City Public Schools also suggested it may resist. In a statement to the community, leaders said they wanted to, quote, assure our community we, that we value and support every student in our charge. 
They wrote that the district was committed to following the Virginia Human Rights Act and case law that required uh, respect for gender identity of transgender students, just like any other student. A similar statement came from the Arlington Public Schools, along with a link to resources for LGBTQ youth and assurances that existing non-discrimination policies will remain in effect. So you can read the rest of this if you like. Uh, but of course, anyone that goes along with neo-Nazi agenda is a neo-Nazi. You got five neo-Nazis in a room and 95 people that don't call themselves neo-Nazis in a room. How many neo-Nazis are in the room? 100. If a neo-Nazi tells you to do something and you say, okay, and you do that thing, you are, by all intents and, purpose, uh, intents and purposes, a neo-Nazi. I don't know what to tell you. So when a neo-Nazi calls themselves governor and tells you you must hate transgender people and you must make their lives worse and you do so, oh, I'm just following orders. I'm just following orders. Really? Okay. You're just following orders. Great. How well did that work out at the Nuremberg trials? Just following orders? Okay, great. Good to hear that you're just following orders. So anyway, uh, big shout out, of course, to the Northern Virginia school districts that are fighting this. Uh, because again, not only is it illegal, it is a violation of the law. That's like if I was the governor and I did like an executive order that said that only I am allowed to run naked through the street. Guess what? That's illegal. It's against the law. But if I do it, am I above the law? What? Am I, I'm above the law? I, I just can do whatever I want? Are they dictators or are they governors? Do they govern us? Or are they, are they dictating how we act and behave and live? So, there you go. Uh, I think that's a little bit of good news.